Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, August 29th, and I'm here with Justin Walsh, and oh my goodness, what's going on? If we get hot enough, we might... <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the dog days of summer, so we're going to be here kicking off an ALS challenge. We're here in support of <clears throat> ALS, and we're also answering a challenge from, I believe, the International School in Japan from Mr. Uh, Ed Ladd. This is also in support of Mike Shane and his family. And what we're doing is we're going to be promoting that all today. The leadership team is going to be taking the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. And then next Thursday, all of ASD is invited to come out, and we are going to take part in the ALS Challenge. So let's give a big round of applause. And the principals look very, very ready. It's kind of hot. Mr. Lever dressed for the occasion. And now it's time to go. Great. Over $100 million has been raised worldwide for this cause. That uh, means a great deal to us. It's very close to our hearts. So let's do it, ASD. Yes. All right. One, two, three. Woo! Leadership team extends a challenge to others. I responded to a challenge from Eric Sands Cutter Academy, and now we respond to other international schools around the world. We'll pass the mic and ask you if there is someone that you want to challenge. But most importantly, why did you do this? Um, what is it that was important for you about participating in this? It's important for us to honor our friend Michael Shane today, uh, and of course I'd like to challenge my own family, Susan Barnwell, Jaden, and Tiziana Barnwell. Well, we know it's a worthy cause, and uh, half of my family has now done this, so I challenge the other half. Yeah, just bringing it home uh, for Mike and Tanya and the boys. Uh, really good to recognize them. And I challenge all the teachers at Elgin Street Public School in Ottawa, Canada. I think we're all just proud to be a part of, of this, uh, this recognition. And I think that we need to challenge the American School of Bombay. Ah. <laughs> good one. I think this is an important way to show how we can support communities outside the walls of our school. And I challenge my family, Jason Martin, Logan, and Owen. <laughs> well, my whole family has now done this, and my parents are on the clock, but I don't think I've seen my sister yet. So, Michelle Allen, this is for you. Well, guys, you've seen the American School of Doha step forward for a great cause. I'm challenging all the other schools of the MESAC conference. <laughs> A great cause. I'd like to see my family, Florencia, Tomas, Agustina, and Joaquin, step up. Obviously, this was important for us. Mike was the former high school principal at ASD, and the other school that Mike worked at was the International School of Bangkok. So we will challenge the International School of Bangkok. Step up. Grateful to be able to give support and raise awareness of this <coughs> of ALS, and I would want to challenge all of the high school faculty and students. It's a great cause and a great opportunity to support a great cause. But I'd like to challenge my friends over at Ibn Khaldun in Bahrain to take on the ALS challenge as well. 
Mike Shan would have loved this. I don't know if he would have wanted to be under the ice, but he would have loved it. A great sense of humor. Uh, I'd like to challenge Kyle Weatherhold at Wilson West to uh, take the challenge. This was a great opportunity for us to show some solidarity around a disease that uh, affects many, many people around the world. And I'd like to challenge my husband, Phil Stroop, and daughter, Stephanie Stroop. And as you heard um, from the leadership team, this was a challenge that meant a great deal to us. So may our efforts lead to further research, further study into a true cure for ALS. And that's Sahifa this week. Thank you, ASD leadership team.